Hello, my name is Ken Colgan with TheBIMGuys.com. We do modeling, training, and support for Revit, Navisworks, and AutoCAD. Check us out on the web at the model, excuse me, <laughs> TheBIMGuys.com. Okay, let's jump in. A uh, question came up, uh, and I get this kind of often, is I want to use a fillet radius. I'm an AutoCAD person. I, don't, I can't find it in Revit. So let's take a look. If I take this uh, line here, and this is just a model line, and I drug it back, I wanted to clean up these these corners. So if you've been using Revit for a while, you know there's a command called trim to corner, TR for short. When I fire it up, I can actually choose item A and item B and it cleans it up. Same with walls. If I had a couple of walls in here, I'll just go ahead and pull some of these walls back quick. Um, it's going to throw an error, but that's fine. I want to clean these walls up, same thing. I come over here, I hit the fillet command, if you want to call it that, if you're an AutoCAD person, and you pick wall A and wall B and it cleans it up. But the question was, I want to put a radius here. Maybe we're doing something 1960s. I want to put a nice little cool radius here. Or I want to put a cool radius on this line or property line or whatever it may be. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a, a slight variation of this because this command does not contain the radius setting underneath it like AutoCAD does. So what do we do? You figure out what you're looking for. For instance, this is a line, right? So if I click on that model line, I notice it's a model line and it's wide. So I'm going to start that command. I'm going to use create similar. And that's what that button does. At this point, you'll notice a little button right here, and it's called fillet arc or fillet radius, if you want to call it that. But that's the equal. Now, since I've used create similar, it actually started the line command. It started a wide line. And now I use this little tool. I fire it up. And then I type in the radius, as you can see here, one foot. Then I pick A and B, and there it is. There's my radius of one foot. So real easy to use. Um, you can set it to other numbers. You say, what if I want to use maybe, I don't know, uh, 12 feet? Well, that's fine. A, B, and there's your 12 foot. Just like AutoCAD, it leaves that little fragment behind, or, and you go ahead and delete it. Now, what about other things? Like, can I do that with walls? Again, it's going to throw a fit when I break these, but that's fine. Now, I go up top. Again, I grab the element. Again, create similar. Starts the wall command. Notice there is the same command as before. Fill it arc radius, okay? So I fire it up. I then tell it what I want to use. Let's say, again, 12 feet. That might be big. Let's try it. One, two. And notice how I put that radius in there. Now, it did throw a bit of a fit, as you can see, but that's all right. You can see how we can use that tool. If you're working on a site or something like that, it can be used inside of a sketch command. That's just a line. I don't know if I actually have a, have a site plan in here. But you can use it in just about any command. And uh, just like you'd use the fillet in AutoCAD. So hopefully that little tip helped. And it's called fillet arc. And you grab the element. Create similar. That's the easiest way. See it in the right exact wall type exact height, et cetera. And then here it is right here. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tip. Have a good weekend.